Bobcat Weekly is brought to you by Rocky Boots. Volleyball is going dancing. Men's basketball is back from Vegas. Football waits for a bull. And women's basketball heads to D.C. and Chicago. And you've got another weekly to watch. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. And welcome to Bobcat TV's Bobcat Weekly. We'll start with volleyball. The Cats are going dancing in the NCAA tournament for the eighth straight year. And they'll do it in Durham, North Carolina on Friday at Duke University against Penn, the champions of the Ivy League. The Quakers are 17 and 10. They've won the Ivy League in back-to-back -back years now. The Bobcats, after a really strong performance in the Mid-American Conference Tournament Championship in Toledo, well, they'll head down Tobacco Road. Head coach, Ryan Tice. We got to watch the selection show Sunday uh, and, you know, some excitement there. I thought uh, our team and our fans, I thought everybody was, was excited about the draw. I don't think we can... We can look past one minute of Penn. I think they're a team that knows how to win. I think if, if Penn can jump out and get some confidence against us, I think it'd be an awfully tough war and battle to, for us to fight. Um, and so, you know, we'll, we'll prepare for them and uh, hopefully still be playing on Saturday. If Ohio does win over Penn, they'll take on the winner of High Point and Duke. You can follow their trip to the NCAA tournament right here on Bobcat TV and on OhioBobcats.com. Men's basketball went to Sin City and split. It was Thanksgiving in Las Vegas. Ohio was blown out by Kansas, losing 98-41 to the day after Thanksgiving. It was a short turnaround, and it was a short memory for Ohio, as they forgot about that, and they played very strongly against Santa Clara, winning by a couple, 78-72. There was a three ball from the corner by Nick Kellogg, and then T.J. Hall sealed the victory with the slam. All in all, pretty good trip after a setback to one of the best teams in the country. They'll have a week off now and get set for the Marshall Thundering Herd coming to town on Saturday at the Convocation Center, the renewal of that strong rivalry. And Marshall played uh, Louisville tough this past weekend. We'll see what the Herd and the Bobcats bring to the table on Saturday. Of course, our coverage starts at 1.30 for a tip-off at 2 here at the Convocation Center. It's bowl time, possibly, for Ohio football. The Cats are waiting to see where they will go if they do go. The Cats, of course, lost to Kent State the day after Thanksgiving, 28-6 at Dick Stadium. And so now we all wait. There are lots of possibilities out there. And we'll wait to know on Sunday. Sunday is when we'll get word. There's a lot of speculation, a lot of rumors. Really, it's putting a bunch of ping pong balls in that turning deal that they have at Bingo. And then you pull out and it says, oh, Humanitarian Bowl. Or, oh, Las Vegas. Or uh, one of the millions of combinations that are out there. Bottom line, Ohio is 8-4. and four. It was a good football season. And the Cats played without a lot of their best players. They're all Americans who are gone because of injury. No Keller, LeVon Brazil, and Gerald Moore. So we wait and hope that Ohio football does go to a bowl game this year. And, of course, stay right here to Bobcat TV for all the preparation as we get set for a possible berth in a bowl game. Women's basketball lost to Youngstown State over the weekend, 60-52. to They blew an 18-point lead. But now they head to D.C. and Chicago. They'll take on... Uh, George Washington in D.C. It's really going to be a fun trip for the ladies. They will go on a capital tour and they'll get to see the sights of our nation's capital. And then they'll head to Chicago, my hometown, at a great time of the year. They'll be right around Michigan Avenue, go see a show perhaps, and then they'll take on Chicago State. Stay here to OhioBobcats.com to follow their trip. Caleb Tripp will have the call on WOUB AM throughout the two ball games. That brings us to the Bobcat calendar. In the Bobcat calendar, women's basketball goes to George Washington on Tuesday. Then it's NCAA tournament time for Bobcat volleyball against Pennsylvania on Friday in Durham, North Carolina. Swimming and diving back in the pool all day on Friday against uh, Akron at the Invitational. Friday, it's a trip to Boone, North Carolina for Bobcat wrestling to take on Appalachian State. Saturday, hopefully Ohio Volleyball is in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Swimming and diving back at it too. Then it's Marshall coming to town on Saturday to take on men's basketball. The women are at Chicago State. Swimming and diving again at Akron. And then on Monday, Ohio women's basketball takes on Temple. So there's a lot to be excited about. There's a lot to prepare for. Hopefully Ohio has a great week this week with volleyball, football, waiting for a bowl game, women's and men's basketball. And we'll see where we do go for a bowl game, and that should be a lot of fun. It's been a great year, and that continues now. That'll do it for another Bobcat Weekly. We hope your Thanksgiving was tremendous. We hope you're getting amped for a great holiday season and for some Bobcat wins, too. Now for Ashley Hartzell, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.